I love our team. The core of our team, the young players we have, they're exciting. They believe in what we're doing. They believe in the Mariners. And just like me, they were very emotional after we got eliminated Saturday night. It hurts. It is personal. And I'm not over it yet, uh, as, as many around here can tell. It's going to take me a while. It's like our players. But there's a different vibe leaving this year than obviously last year. Last year, when it all ended, we were gassed. Physically, mentally, emotionally gassed. Uh, we're tired physically. Um, you know, talking to the guys on Sunday after the game. But there's a burning desire to get into the offseason and make a difference. And, and that's what, you know, the conversation I had with players, with coaches, that start here immediately. And expectations are great. I talked about it in spring training. They were raised dramatically than how they'd ever been here in the past. And I look forward to be up there again. Um, because in my mind, we are as good as the Astros and the Rangers, except for one or two games. There's almost never one thing um, that goes wrong. Um, you know, it's, it's a series of things that maybe could have gone differently or you could have done better. Um, I don't think it's any one person's fault. You know, I you know heard for a lot in the first half about Tom and Lestella or Colton Wong or A.J. Pollock or a double play we didn't turn or bases loaded situations with nobody out. It's never any one of those things. It's a collection of things that didn't quite go the way you wanted to. And amongst all those things were a ton of things that went really, really well. And I could sit up here and list all those and um, feel really good about how those will carry forward to next year. But I guess my best answer is it's not any one thing. It's a series of things that didn't go quite the way we hoped it would. We have far more answers to the, to the question, when does the championship come? Than, than questions. And you know we'll ask ourselves those questions headed into this year and answer them to, to the best of our ability. I don't know that the solution to our problems is big name, big name players. And I'm not sure we have big problems, but you know, would I like to have big name players? Sure, I, I think we all would. <laughs> you know, whether that is you know, by way of a big name player, there are, there are a number of teams that are, are, I guess, evidence today that that might not be the only way that you build a roster.